Hello and welcome everybody to the channel. Today we are starting a new game. Just you know me, I'm a variety streamer. Cyberpunk 2077. And this This is RV that my community created for me. They like the they made the beard mat, although my V has hair. Because apparently they don't like me bald. Alright, so on this playthrough we are going to do Cyberdeck. Now with that, when you do Cyberdeck, it's overpowered. You can just melt through people without even firing a bullet. And Right now, I'm trying to remember the hacking build, basically. Um, I'm trying to remember the... What attributes that we need for this. I think it's cool. I can say it out. All right, so I believe it is now technical ability and cool. Almost positive technical ability and cool. So. Nope, it is, it is intelligent and cool. I was right the first time. So. Okay, is that our car? I'm going to need you to tell me if that was our car or not. They just got broken. into. Okay. Cool beans. You never know in Canton. By the way, if you're wondering what's right there. It's the actual game. <laughs> I've never done this opening. I've done uh, Nomad, I've done Corpo. Never Street Kid. A little anesthesia. Everything chill, mano? 
Some bastard tried to mug me. I handled it. Oh, local guy. You really think somebody local will try to mug me, Pepe? Listen, V. I got a problem. Serious this time. Find yourself a hole, sounds like. You need help. Ah, knew I could count on you. It's a uh, cork. I owe him. Don't pay by tomorrow, said he'd bust my legs. And he don't joke about that stuff. Got cartels in his corner. You in it with Kirk? Every man, woman, and rat in Haywood knows he's a fucking shark. My bro jumped the joint. Deserved the hero's welcome. I know I fuck up, V. <laughs> you ever gonna get wise, Pepe? Please tell me your brother's doing all right. Uh, doing his thing, you know. So, can you help? I'll talk to Kirk, but then you're gonna owe me one. And you're saving my He's life, a good boy. truly. He just lacks direction. Demons walk with him. They tear at his soul. But I'll tell him we're sorry and wish to make peace. You can see dude's mom. Hey, where's the rest? Still unpacking, man. I'll be checking exactly. He was two bottles of scents on short last week. No, no, that ain't oh, I was at the hospital today. Javi's got some broken ribs, but praise Jesus, the bullet didn't hit any organs. What happened? A police manhunt. They were chasing some demons. So he had it coming, eh? He was just standing there. Standing, understand? Hey, Kirk. Wanna talk? V, been a while? Spin it, what you need. Subtitles, please, sir. You got biz for me? Sit down. Pepe asked me to talk you up. What, he too shot a hand over the Yetis himself? Uh, tell him I don't bite. Not yet. How's your problem? What's he owe you? Afraid that's client confidentiality. Call it a lot and leave it at that. A cred shark with business ethics. Sounds too good to be true. Well, Merry fucking Christmas. Cut him some slack, will you? He'll pay. Just need some more time. Do I look like a priest that runs a charity to you? You borrow Eddie's, you gotta pay him back. With interest. It's common fucking knowledge. You suggesting I let a flaky cunt who can't keep a deal off the hook? No, you let him off because it's me asking. Ha! <laughs> you know me. I'm a man of the bids. So I need to know what I get out of it. You avoid trouble or I owe you one? Should I talk shit? And possibly get hit? Oh, do I owe something? He does have funny ears. It's probably why he's so angry at the world. Talk oh, shit? All right. Kind of you know in a rush Kirk, here. I sometimes get the impression you forget you aren't from around here. Pop in Haywood for the occasional visit, sure. But you live far, far away in Pacifica. What are you getting at? Getting at? You're probably needing to think before you start something with the local sun. Hmm. I'm open to other options. 
What's this? Grab a look. Mm hmm. Cream ride there on the page. Only four of them in NC as of now. One, Rayfield Regional Director. Two, Mayor Ryan. Three, a rental service. Uh-huh, and four? Number four will belong to my client. Just as soon as you clap it for me, that is. I do this, and Pepe's debt is squared? Of course. I'm a man of my word. You know that. Whole thing simple. You swipe the Rayfield for me, I clear Pepe's account. Even toss in a cut for you, I'm such a nice guy. My man Rick works a parking structure by Embers, club where our Rayfield driver likes to kick it. There every Friday night, like clockwork. Soon as you appear, security cam shut down, gate swings up, the road is yours. Just gotta grab the Rayfield and roll out. Simple. Who's the owner? Just an Arasaka suit from across the water. Spews cash out of every hole in his body. And his name? How would I know? Why would I care? It's a hot item and I know where to find it. Plan sounds shaky as fuck. Oh, how so? Sounds like you're looking for a sucker. This ain't no setup, V. Heard you got a good head. Maybe we help each other make a few eddies. And your man Rick? Trust him like my own brother. How am I supposed to do this? Expect me to slide under the chassis on a skateboard for a quick hot wire? Fast and easy? Kirk, wheels like this got security systems. Good ones. This bitty bop works like the key Rayfield Techs use for repairs. Opens locks, bypasses identity authorization. A skeleton key for all Rayfields in the city. <laughs> Come on, Kirk, even you don't buy that. Kabuki's tech wizards sell more magical shit than this under the counter. Have a little faith. So, we all agreed then. Best keep your word, Kirk. Easy, V. Job's gonna pad your wallet too, you know? Head to Ember's in the Glen. Rick's in the garage. Be waiting for you. You two will hit it. Perales has my vote. Man, it don't matter. Perales, Ryan, suits from the same circle. Nah, Perales is different. But no, how would I? How would I know what? I don't know shit about it. I can't afford it. The best beef. If you got oh, fucking yeah. mouth, you, if you can't hit it. Money's got nothing to do with it. Exactly. Why didn't tell me to take a picture? Fuck it. Taking it. I don't know the screenshot. Hello. Spare a veteran some change. So you're a vet today, huh? <laughs> what can I say? War stories rake it in. Yeah, if he was an actual vet, I would have gave him money. The cybernetic god comes to devour Talk to the people in Santo. Tell them to be ready. Yes, Padre. Well, who do we have here? We? Long time. Didn't know you were around. Yep. No place like home. Sebastian Ibarra. Haven't changed a smidge. No one calls me by my name anymore. Almost forgotten how it sounds. How are things, Padre? I think Victor. The same. Haywood. 
No, it shows late on. The game. I'd rather hear about you. Got back from Atlanta a few weeks ago. See, you got a good down home welcome. How was it back east? Tell you later. Got something on my plate. How about you fill me in now? We'll give you a ride. Marcus, let's go. So where to? The Glen. Drop me off at Embers. Front door? Take the ramp back of the bar. Show you where to stop. You heard it, Marcus. Why does he drive like that? <laughs> Your return to NC has been good. <laughs> Busy already. And two years gone by, not much has changed. You know how it would. It has strong roots, ever watered by the same blood. Now, tell me about you. Eh, I pick up something here and there. <laughs> Nothing major. But I'm getting by. Appreciate the concern. So... Atlanta didn't turn out like you expected, huh? As you can see, I'm back. If I'd been better there, wouldn't have left. Maybe it'll all work out for the best. No, it won't. It will not. Most certainly will not. Shit! Stop the car. What's going on? Business. You carry? Sebastian Ibarra. Looks like it's my lucky day. What do you want? To settle our biz, once and for all. Got an offer for you, Patty, so listen up. Get the fuck out of Vista. Pull your boys off the street. I'll give you the Glen. Nick Done always, deal. No more restless great. nights. See how generous I can be? Well, Patty... One more fucking word. Stay out of this. I don't know you. And I don't know you, which means you're worth shit around here and capable of even less. Well, anything else? It seems our conversation has come to a close. Careful, Padre. Never know who's got a barrel at your six. You neither, shit bucket. Marcus, please. I am pleased to see you have not forgotten your roots. Still have the gift. So many of the little shits left around here. Their spines go soft when they look down a barrel. Who was that? No one important. He'll be gone in a week's time. Another will come in his place. He pulled iron on you. He did. And he will pay for doing so. You got him. Pull up here. Right here. I'll just drop down below. Here, before you go. Your number. Could be useful. Maybe we can also work together again. Take ourselves back two years. Thanks, Padre. Gotta go. So go with God. Well, I'll be damned. Find your man. Rick's one of the good guys, you'll see. I trust him like a brother. 
Yeah, so you said. like this cyberpunk took a hit with the box yeah. uh something i can help you with with the box uh release but it was good. you rick yep you with kirk yep cameras are blind you got 20 minutes of wonder tech for a world. You're a man of little faith. See? We're rich. Now fire her up and call me when you're underway. Tell you where to go. Hmm. Looks like this will be a cool breeze. Get the fuck out. Get okay. the fuck out. Easy. Nothing personal, compa. Just biz. Rayfield's mine. What, man? Never heard of thieves' honor. Finders' keepers. I was first. Listen, only one of two ways to do this. Friendly or fucked up. Either way, the ending's the same. I'm taking the car. What? What are you doing? Cachingados? Under arrest. Stay where you are. Hands where I can see him. Nice and slow. On the ground, motherfuckers, now. Ugh. Jackie Wells, my old pal from the hood. See you haven't grown an ounce white. Hey, <clears throat> Detective Stitz. Been a while, huh? Inspector Stitz. <laughs> Same shit. Speaking of, your mug's familiar too. Come How on, about spit that? it out. I'm waiting. Pick the chatters. <laughs> Left for Atlanta, looking for a slice of happiness. Guess you didn't find it. I've always maintained it's the same for all you termites in Haywood. Born here, live here, die here. Looks like I was right. Rat got you your know, tongue? Fuck all about me. Truth hurts, huh? Just watch your tone. I'm not a patient man. I'm your Come on, fuck. Stance. Give us a break, huh? You lock us up? Then just jerk off till trial. And then what? Worst case, we get some months. Hell, standing room only nowadays in El Bote. Oh, they'll probably be out early. Are these the thieves? Fuck ordinary here. street trash. Got him in custody, Mr. Fujioka. We'll be taking him now. It's a waste of effort. I have no time to testify or play it on an investigation. Suggesting we let him go, sir? I suggest you toss them in the sea. Cuff legs broken so this trash doesn't flow. You heard him. <sighs> Fuck. Ouchies. Motherfucker. Ugh. Honestly, for a sec there, things looked iffy. Wasn't sure we'd worm out of that alive. And same. Stintz is out to get people. Wound tight. Though he does have a little honor left. Really think his sense of honor saved us? Well, and the fact he's Haywood born and bred like us. If I hadn't come, you'd be cruising Night City in sexy wheels right now. Nah, come on. 
Job was toxic from the start. Even Kabuki under the counter magic can't get around an alarm like that. Should have known I'd have the PD on my ass. So, maybe now, as God ordained, Jackie Wells. V. I know you. You hang at the Coyote. Wait, Wells? Like Mama Wells. <laughs> Thought I'd recognize the name. She's my blood, all right. Coyote's her dive. It's strange you and I never met before. Got the job to steal those wheels at the Coyote. From Kirk. You work with that sewer slug? Pepe wasn't big and can't afford to pay, so I stepped up. Man, gotta wonder about Pepe letting slimy Kirk boss him around like that. Heard what they say. He's backed by cartels. Cartels? No, no, listen. I know those cartel types, and I guarantee you, none of them have even heard of Kirk. El cabrón's gotta learn. He don't do people in Haywood dirty. Come on. Let's go have some lunch. Lunch? <laughs> you would not believe my mama's chili. Best in town. Getting one of my good feelings. About what? About us. It's a kind of chemistry, you know? Come on. I'm fucking starved. Okay. Food it is. Let's go. Hello there, and that is the opening. City. From this point on, Stanley the story is the same. And we got another day ahead of us in this other, city other. of dreams. Ooh, I love this town. Love it like you might love a mother who popped you out on the steps of an orphanage once hey, and now stops you to ask if you Can got you a smoke for her. Every yep. new day here means a hundred new yeah. arrivals, but only half these gongs will survive a year. Yeah, you open that and for you? that's if it's a good one. And why do these peeps come that's to NC? Well, to be street samurai like Morgan, Blackhand, and Waylon Boa Boa. The greater the risk, the bigger the party, kids. <laughs> or so they say. But you can only be a major league player for so long. The faster you live, the faster you burn out. Legends, know where you'll find most of them? The graveyard. <laughs> matters not where you're from, matters not where you start. What matters here is the walk you walk. Uh, In Night City, I need to come get James. the city of dreams. chick we're looking for is somewhere in this building. Probably crawling with the pendejos that kidnapped her. Pendejos. Eyes and ears open, all right? Speaking of which, got you a little something. Militech training shard. In case you need to uh, brush up on your dance moves. Down for some target practice in VR? Militech. Jack, we're talking classified military-grade shit here. How'd you get it? Are you talking about V or... And Daddy. our girl made a couple adjustments. Why? Think she knows better? Nah. Said it didn't suit her, uh, style. <laughs> You'll see what I mean. We're gonna skip the tutorial. Not now, Jack. Well? No time. Maybe later. Sure, sure. Mañana. Mañana. Will Kako give you any tips and tricks for the job? I'm not your mother. Just do what I pay you for. It's easy work. Sha. Let's do this. Elevator. This way. <laughs> you didn't say men. You said man.
Target's Sandra Dorset. Target's Biomon went mute a couple hours back. Suspected abduction. Target could have possibly flatlined already. Not sure you're in time. We're in time, Bug. We. Sure you're on phones, but that don't make you any less part of this squad. Squad. Charming. Bug, you could at least try to be nice. You want nice, supportive? Call a damn helpline. <laughs> Looking for 1237. Target should be inside, but I got zero eyes on her biomom. Fingers crossed it's not too late. Is that you? Oh, I hate this life or death shit. Hurry. Try hacking the door. Think you can trip it on your own, V? Sandra Dorset's protected under Echelon 2 Corporal Immunity. Our girl's top shelf. This one's packing black market Zeta Tech repros. Typical back alley fix ups. Not our lucky gal. Let's keep looking. Normsy on demand. How did it happen? When and why did the society decide that human life is a commodity, a luxury? My mother passed away at 45. She still had decades of life to live until it was all stolen from her by common pneumonia. If she had even. If she held, had held even the cheapest trauma team policy, she could have been cured within an hour, but she couldn't afford it. My mom died five months before her scheduled appointment with a family practitioner. The idea of privatized healthcare was deeply ingrained in our public psyche. Already in 2020, <clears throat> there was widespread consensus at 500 euro dollars a month with a fair price for trauma team insurance. Health wasn't something you were given. It was something you earned. The private system may not be perfect, but there's no alternative, we thought. Bullshit. Now, cr uh, across the Pacific Ocean to the USSR, where they also have highly trained medical technicians, high precision nanosurgical suites, specialized antibodies, intravenous probes. <coughs> the list goes on. Morency airlifts these modern AVs equipped with cryotonic chambers. The, they have those too. The difference then? They don't leave their people to die in the streets, at the store, in their homes. They don't force anyone to purchase their, their lives from a corporation as if they were the ones who own it. Public health care isn't some achievable, unachievable utopia, it is a reality. Trauma team, on the other hand, treats its policyholders as both potential patients to be treated and potential products to be bought. They save lives only because there's a profit in it. A save lives is a returning customer. Client death can also bring in fiscal gains in the form of organ or implant and implant resale, though the course of, it, though of course in regulated smaller sums, an emergency care provider can't afford to give its managers reasons to deliberately cut off its clientele base for short-term windfalls. Surely you ask these medical professionals are guided by the Hippocratic Oath, please. uses and side effects you like all sorts of attitude many people believe we live in a time when impossible has become an obsolete term ripodox can replace any part of the human body with artificial implants from your big toe to portions of the nervous system 
My using trauma team, however, taught me that the impossible is still very much possible. Even now, as we enter the twilight of the 21st century, we as medical professionals have not been able to eliminate all the side effects that can that came come from incorporating cybernetic elements into our bodies. Of course, everyone is familiar with the mental disorder most commonly referred to as cyberpsychosis, but it doesn't end there. Although advices, advances in medical science for the greater part of the century have reduced its in, uh, incidence to a minimum, cyberware rejection can still occur in small a subset of the population. Those unlucky few can experience a range of complications, but the following are the most prevalent. One, immune response. The body rejects the implant, causing scar tissue to continue growing at the, to the point that it causes pain and inflammation of the surrounding tissue, as well as possible interference with the pec's electrical circuits. Two, psychological effects. Neurological implants have the potential to cause unpredictable change in the brain. Possible side effects include depression, apathy, hallucinations, and sudden change increases in addictive behavior such as gambling. 3. Implant overdependence. Long-term use of certain synthetic body part replacements can change the brain's chemi chemistry to make it accustomed to a particular type of implant. There are reported cases of permanent blindness after patients attempted to replace the Kiroshi optical implants with different models. In the face of these known risks, what should our outlook be as consumers and medical professionals? To deny ourselves cybernetic enhancements on the 0.5% chance we will lose our vision forever. Or gamble away our life savings at the casino? The clear answer is no. Cyberware technology has elevated human biology to the point where these what-if arguments serve against our best interests. The best advice I can offer for minimizing your risk is to read the technical, uh, techno medical profiles of all cyberware you intend to purchase before you install it. I'll call you out all day, every day. On your toes. More bodies ain't coming. They're almost on you. These fucking reapers. Oh yeah, he, they're coming. Wait for your chance. Pick the prick off. I'm gonna get him out. We're on this. Thick as locusts. Let's wait and plant a spree. Take one down. Just real quiet. Gonna save again, do da, do da. Stop looking directly at me, fool. Don't see any movement on the sensors. Looks like you got them. You're clear to go. Shit, where the hell's our target? Look around, gotta be there somewhere. Oh, I see. Flat out doubted we could be that sneaky. Jesus fucking Christ. I think I got her. Got our target. We make it? She alive? About to find out. V, jack into our biomod. Need to know what we're dealing with. This does not look good. She's in the tub of ice. Crammed in with another. Fuck. 
Like slabs of meat. Keep it together, V. If she survives, she won't remember a thing. Tiny scar on the subconscious, that's all. Her people who live through shit like this get panic attacks. That ever known why. You'd be sipping a glass of ice cold water and suddenly your hands shaking. V, jack into her biomon. We need to know what we're dealing with. Jacking in. Boobies. They jiggle too when I carry her. Sandra Dorset, NC5 70442. Platinum. Platinum? Shit. Trauma should have swooped in if she sneezed. Guessing they jammed the transmitter, Sig. Looking at a hacked biomon, firmware reconfig, or a neurovirus. Carajo, T Bug. You ain't seeing this place. This is tubs, ice, hooks, and cleavers. Hmm. Scott Muncher's hack, huh? Got an idea. Check her neural cord. Find a shard? Yeah, pull it. That'll be what's muting the biomon. Is that even safe? Can't we just get her out of here? We found her still breathing. Can't lose her. We need that biomon working, checking for hemorrhages, whatever. Find that shard and yank it. Found the shard. Removing now. Check the biomon. Anything changed? Greetings, Sandra. If you are conscious, assume recovery position now. An emergency evacuation unit has been dispatched and is due to arrive at your location in 180 seconds. Biomon claims trauma will be here in three minutes. Your premium plan will cover 90% of the projected costs of your rescue and treatment. Ay, pobrecita. Let's get her off that ice. Jack, look sharp. Not done yet. Don't know who's out there. Locked and ready, hermano. Do your thing. Ah, oh, fuck! She's flatlining! V, need to know Jackie, air on. hypo! Fuck, this is bad! Hey, catch, vato! I think... Holy shit, it All right, so... It's just a job. Um, Jackie and V are now what's called, uh, solos. Or, um... Marks. Um... They take jobs from people called fixers. And, uh... It's mercenaries, basically. Bounty war. Sometimes. Sometimes you're saving somebody, sometimes you're stealing something, sometimes you're stealing something back. Whole list of things. Anyways, this is just the opening job. They were given a job to save this girl. Worked. Fuera, cabron. Get her outside. Mm. Scav rats abandoning ship. Must have seen trauma. Decided to cut their losses. Landing. Stand clear. Initiating security protocol. Follow all instructions. Stop in the doorway. Place the patient on the ground. Five steps back, now. TT-133 to control. Patient NC-570442 secured. Stimulants being administered. 70 milligrams dopamine, 110 norepinephrine, 800 fibrinogen. Because that's trauma pain. Don't, don't know what to tell you. That is Let's get out of here. Well, I'm looting and fucking polluting, bro. Good work. Shit show's over. Cutting my wires now. See you in the near future. Listen, Mano. I got this thing. Mind if I borrow your wheels? 
Hmm. The day the tower fell. In early August 2023, a single event would change the course of history. Although it fell against the bloody black backdrop of the fourth corporate war, the global media still fed on the story for weeks. And, you, who, and who, could you blame them? A group of terrorists detonated a nuclear bomb, blowing Air Socket Tower to the pieces. The terrorist warning came too late. Not all the tower's employees could be evacuated. The blast itself and blast itself killed and wounded thousands, while countless others died from radiation sickness. How did the big, biggest terrorist attack on, in the 24th century happen? Who was behind this catastrophe? I can't say that word, I guess. To find the answers, we need to first un uh, understand the context of that era. Early 2020s was a period of unrest for Night City, and anti-corporate sentiment was at all-time high. In the epicenter of the city's lawlessness stood the Atlantis Club. It was seen as an island of resistance against the powers that be, primarily, primarily mega corporations like Militech and Biotechnica. Though a special place in hell was the result for Arasaka, Japanese armed manufacturing Daibatsu that held the most influence over Night City. The kinds of people who frequently frequented the Atlantis felt that corporations had hijacked the future and turned people into consumer slaves and ironically deprived the two things capitalism loved most, freedom and choice. These people called themselves edge runners. They positioned themselves against corporate world order. They declared their own freedom and opposition to the status quo, but deprived of any peaceful way of meaningfully change what they called the system. They reached for more radical methods of self-expression and those and these people or no strangers to violence. I got a date with Misty, bud. I can't take the metro. How's oh, they gonna look for me? Only we'll be hanging, Jack. But don't get used to it. Fresh me. Bum, your favorite supplier to Gomp. We won't, uh... From Victor to Blaze. Shh. Gonna be long? Uh, response, you're fucked. If any of your lackeys show up here again, they're in for far worse than a split jaw. That's not an empty threat. Find me, motherfuckers. You're like Victor. Hello. That guy said back, we won't su forget your dead man walking. Told you I'm fucking looting, bro. or your head will explode. Hey June, today is your unlucky day. You're probably wondering who I am. I'm a voodoo boy, probably heard of us. Remember the last time you hit the net? Yeah, Hello. me too. I hacked your co-processor and installed a little surprise for you. Now you do what I tell, uh, say or your head goes boom. I think 1,000 is, uh, 1,000 euro dollars is fair pay, keep your head. If you pay, I'll install my surprise. If not, I'll blow your head, but blow up the head the person you love most first. If you tell NCPD, I blow up your head twice. You have two days to pay, and I know you read this because I installed spy cam in the optics and we read it together. This is not a negotiation tune. So do not reply, just pay and you will live. Implants for cheap, cheap, cheap. Huge saving on discounted secondhand cyberware. Don't miss out. Today's deals. Plastic sink skin, pink. Hand size medium, second gen. Used one week only. Nail mint condition. Heck hair green. Total length, luminescent, second gen, moderate use, occasional flickering, faint cigarette and smoke smell. Alloy feet, chrome, unpainted. Hello. Men size 8, first gen. Light rust from lake water exposure. Price reduction due to lack of owner records. Synthetic calf, calf muscle. Red, no casing, mint condition. Second gen retrofit, capable of models. Item go faster by now. Continue following us for the latest and best deals. Need someone to watch your back? Danger proud Night City. Hello. Got a stock on your tail, high on the iron, out for your blood. Some freak giving you cold, crooked looks and bad vibes. Maybe you're just looking to pad your personal security. The animals got your back. Survival of the finish. It's the only law that matters in Night City. You hire us, we show your enemies just what it means. We'll protect you, your home, your workplace, your property. Hell, we're even happy to knock on a few doors if necessary. Become the king of the jungle. Do the animals. Hello. 
Now some more information. The Voodoo Boys is hackers. A group of hackers. Haitian hackers to be specific. Um, you deal with them a lot in this game. The Animals is a group of gym rats. Like muscles on muscles on muscles taking it too far kind of gym rats. Um, like the biggest men and women you'll ever come across. Like grossly muscular. I drive you home, huh? She's all yours. I'm beat as it is. Oh, almost forgot. Should get Wakako in the hollow. Tell her the job's done. well. Trauma team took her off our hands. She'll recover. Splendid. Your payment awaits you. Ready to come and grab whenever you like, even right away. But I guess home is the only place you wish to be now. The NCPD has surrounded Watson. The district is closed. If you are to make it past the cordon, you must move fast. Thanks for the heads up. Swing by to see you later. Words out the NCPD's gonna put Watson on lockdown. If I'm gonna sleep in my own bed tonight, we better put it in fifth. Leave it to me, Mano. I'm driving. Night City. I kinda like this song. City like any other. Just bigger. Nah, mano. Not just any other city. Morgan Blackhand. Andrew Wayland. Adam Smasher. Legends are born here. I'm starving. Let's grab a tight bite. What do you say? Jackie. They're locking down Watson, remember? Oh shit, you're right. Is it just me or? Oh, I fucking knew it. They have their ass tailing us. Hello. I don't like this beat. I want that bit. Scott! Hijo de puta! Fucking drive, Jackie! Come on! Can't keep her steady! Holy fuck! Mierda! Perdón! Chingado! <sighs> Scratched your baby up pretty bad. Sorry, V. It's okay. It can wait. Let's just focus on getting home. Tough, bitch. Stops. 
What does the lockdown do for the nerdist? Necessary security measure. Officer, ma'am! Damn, are we ever lucky we ran into you. Really? What's it that makes me so special? A uh, heart of gold? Because only somebody with a heart of gold can understand just how much I need to get back to my girl. Your girl? Uh-huh. I'm gonna be worried sick if I don't show. I mean, I'm trying to be a stand-up guy. Is she giving me a chance? Waiting. Mm, that's a shame. Look at him. No model citizen, maybe. But he's a good kid. Let them through. But they're the last. Okay, on your way. You have a good evening now, officer, ma'am. She took a liking to you. The devotion I demonstrated grabbed her by the gut. Right. I'm loyal, stable in my affections. Mm-hmm. And unassuming. You get it. Touching moment. These ain't your average badges. That's MaxTac. NCPD's Apex Predators. MTAC rolls in when things fly out of hand. Conks out there, though. Just a midday snack for them. Well, show's over. Poor bastards. But they had it coming. dreams then tell misty i said hi i will hi luego Exactly. Interesting. Yeah, Sometimes to watch this program. Thanks for having me. Now, I'd like us to talk about the most exclusive and highly sought-after implant on the market today. Yeah. Oh, stupid gates busted again. Third time. Paid to get it fixed the last two. Gotta be some Booty? kind of scam. What? Gonna have a word with yeah. the super. Oh yeah. As you pick up legendary weapons and you put them in your stash, they show up here.
Aqui nessa. Uh, some fire grenades. What the random penis? Or was a jump scare? Oh yeah, bitch. Yeah, I never got a hold of J uh, Josh today. I mean, I sent him. He said, "Yeah, get on in a minute." With his kid was still up. And that was two hours ago, so. I don't know what happened to him. Hey, Gracie, get out of the way. Thank you. We gotta let uh, Hal see. The manifold dream, and apparently, catch wet dream. Let's change some. Uh, let's give him a powder face. Oh, fountain. Gal. Smile. Gawk. Dale. By the way, you can take showers in this game, too. You see it? Eh. No. By the way... My dude might be gay. What other excuse? What other excuse? The relic, why all the fuss? For years, experts in the field of cybernetics, neurology, and psychology have been desperately trying to merge human consciousness with silicon. Until now, the efforts have been unsuccessful. Though scientists have managed to create artificial intelligence that can compare or indeed surpass human intellect, copying the human eye has remained beyond our capabilities. Attempts to do so merely result in sophisticated chat box. Digital beings capable of making, mimicking human speech and mannerisms, but devoid of self-awareness. Today, experts from Osaka announced a breakthrough. Their newest subject, uh, project dubbed The Relic allows human minds to be copied into shards no larger than a cred chip. What's more, the shard can be slid into one's neural port, allowing its user to hear or and see digitized personal construct. Sadly, I haven't been able to personally examine the specifications of this remarkable piece of technology. Access to the relic is heavily, heavily restricted by Osaka, and only a small select group of testers are allowed to participate in the program. Unsurprisingly, 
These testers are among the wealthiest, most influential people in the world. Precisely the kinds of people Ayosaka would like to know have in its pocket. For the ordinary consumers reading this, don't expect the relic to hit mass markets anytime soon. That is a major, major part of the game. The relic. Massive. Stupidly large. Aspect of the game. something when I jacked into that corpo's bile mine. You know, uh, neurovirus, sir. I need to see Vic. Let him tell me what's got my head reeling, my stomach churning. Okay, let me take you. I brought you a ride. Throw some threads, meet me downstairs. We're gonna sell some shit. I'm gonna sell that. Never gonna wear that. Never gonna use that. Never gonna use that. All the drinks I never bother ever using or eating or partaking in. I'm enjoying. Oh. Gina Jones here. If you're looking for work in Watson, give me a call. How'd you find me? How'd you even know my name? I know where to gather my intel. Could even call me a collector. Later, V. Like my new punching bag. I'm curious to see how he handles the likes of me. <laughs> I'm a school grenade in the front of So him. how about it? Where'd you get him, Fred? <laughs> Off the street. Saw him looking up at me with these big, sad eyes. So I took the poor pup in, fed him, clothed him. <laughs> nah, for real. He's a military bot. Got a sweet deal, and a truma mine tossed in a few upgrades. Now, here we are. How's it going? Fight's about to start. Not gonna watch, take notes. Malone versus Hernandez? <laughs> nah, our chrome friend here don't watch TV. Don't talk, neither. Only way he communicates is with them this. Let's do this. Light on your feet. Keep that head moving. Monetizing it? 
I can arrange a fight or two. What do you say? You mentioned something about fighting. Big, mm. fat eyes. I've seen you land in blows in the ring. You've got sharp instinct, good edge. You can go far, especially if you get chipped. These fights, let's just say they aren't legal, but very lucrative. Yeah, lucrative for who? You or me? Both of us. I get a small percentage of the total winnings, you know, as your agent. You get the rest. Sounds fair. It's like I said, good instinct. Fights happen in different parts of the city. You choose where you want to go, put down your eddies, and start swinging. You win, you take home the pot. Manage to drop every last one of them, you get a chance to fight in the grand finale. That all clear? Crystal. Good. Oh, except you won't be setting foot outside or Watson. Not yet. You can start in Kabuki. I believe in you, V. Time to show this city what you're made of. Let's have a look. Thanks a lot. I got an iconic weapon. Yay. Although I won't really be using guns. See that Josh fucking texted me. He did text me, 1040. And theatrical performance oh, in the no tradition. Oh shit. The sponsor for the festival is the Arasaka Corporation. Sorry, and in an exciting development, even Hanako Arasaka has announced her participation in the Dashi Parade. From all of us at WNS News, we wish you a safe and fun Matsuri. Enjoy yourselves, Night City. After the break, cyber psychosis. Yesterday. It's all in the report. Oh, I read it. Except there's no mention of me telling you to Delta. Yep. Oh, well. Mm. Man of the hour. <laughs> Sheesh. Took you long enough. Worked up an appetite, just waiting. Sit down, let me finish this. Then we can drop in on Signor Vector. Mentioned something about a surprise yesterday. Am I remembering right, or just had a brain fart? Probably both, because you usually forget shit. But it just so happens, I think I might have bagged us a sweet-ass J-O-B. Go on. I mean, maybe it's not as big as that, but... Just that he's fronted by a little-known someone named Dexter Deshaun. Only the top fixer in night fucking city. Fat-ass black Jesus of the afterlife. 300 pounds of partly gold-plated coup. 
Thought Dex bounced out of the ring a few years ago. Ah, Messed with the well. nasty crew in Pacifica. Things got ugly. Mm-hmm. Gang wars two years back. Somehow Dex got caught up in the craziness. There's a lot of bodies lying in the streets by the time the shooting stopped. Yeah, Dex got lucky, though. Managed to slip under the radar till tempers cooled. Took a while, but he's made one hell of a comeback. Eyes up to his elbows in blood, Jack. You want to shake his hand? Work with him? It's the biz, V. Everyone's got blood on their hands. You deal with it. You move on. How'd you manage to pull this? Trade in your spleen or something? As far as I know, we're not the type to get fingered by Dex. You and me? Oh, but t buck she's the one that hooked us up. Got us talking. Knew it was a done deal the moment he laid eyes on me. Cause come on, ain't nobody who can resist this. Am I right? <laughs> sure, Jack. Whatever you say. So what's the gig? We meant to come out in one piece? Our Lord and Savior wants to tell you everything himself, face to face. Oh, no pressure, but uh, this whole deal, he's riding on you now, I see. All right, let's hear what old Dex has to say. Set it up. Dex is a real deal when it comes to fixers. Don't get me wrong, don't got nothing against the Padre or Wakako, but Dex is in a league of his own. You know what I'm saying? Don't get me started on fixers. They catch a client, find the cheapest gong to do the job, then drop their corpse at a landfill. Shit. Hit the nail on the head, V. Gracias, Dios. Estoy lleno. Brought your wheels. Gave them to my guy yesterday to smooth over the dents after our, uh, Dust off with the scabs. Thanks, Jack. Much appreciated. Some top notch work Miguel did. Rides like it looks. Factory new. We'll see about that. So we rolling or what? Let's feel this factory new ride. Now, the part I don't understand about these cars is look at this. Look what good is that we'll be uh, that meal gonna do? What good is that going to do? Why even have that? First stop, Ripper Duck and Holmes. No way, easy on the gas, huh? No side, I just ate. Oh, Supposed to stop by Vicks anyhow. Okay. I got a date. Me and Miss D. You don't say. She's so sweet. Really gets me, you know. Find me once Vic's done dusting your circuits. We'll hash out what Dex has cooked up for us. Oh, yeah. And the lack of clothing. Not only to you. Do you truly believe that those who have sold Listen, you your mechanical eyes have resisted the temptation to peek through them? Cameras are all around us, even within us. Your joys, your worries, your life. Your movie, For them, it is all. Anyone who's watching and giving a damn, I'd have half the city's underworld and half its corpse on my ass already. And if you are their pawn, unknowingly carrying out their secret agendas. This is what Josh sounds like when he's getting to the uh, ancient aliens. 
But who are those who follow our every step, you ask? Why, the titans of entertainment in Alpha Centauri! In their wretchedness, they placate their weary and oppressed masses by putting our laughter, our tears, on full display! Look, I'm not that guy. Like in that show! Wait, get next to him. I'll snap a still of you arresting him for revealing government secrets. Open your mind before it is too late! Photobomb. Photobomb. Jessica will, like, die when she sees this. Like, this is Max Nova. I just can't. What'd you, Jay? What'd you? I'm Radio waves bear the truth. Let those with ears listen and those with eyes behold. Wonder what happens if I can do that. Save the game. Their mothership conceals itself above our very heads. Ready yourself, for they are coming. Yeah, that guy's a star. That means he's way over my level. They wouldn't let me. blind eye to their existence. They have already won. Eventually he asked you for money. Bear the truth. Let those with ears listen and those with eyes behold. Their mothership conceals itself above our very heads. Ready yourself, for, for they are coming. Okay. Come on. This is a uh, hey, girlfriend. Dr. Vector will see you now. I'll sit tight over here. Me and Misty got a little catching up to do. You look the world as will and idea. But besides all this, death is not the great opportunity is not the great opportunity no longer to be I to him who uses it. During life, the will of man is without freedom. His actions take place with necessity upon the basis of his un unalterable character and the chain of motive. But everyone remembers much that he has done, and on account of which he has by no means satisfied with himself. If now he were to go on living, he would go on acting in the same way on account of the unalterable nature of his character. Accordingly, he must cease to be what he is in order to be able to rise out of the germ of his nature as a new and different being. Therefore, death loses, loses these bonds. The will again becomes free, for freedom lies in the esse, not, the, not in the opera pleased because i am always makes for easier living but we got a new job lined up horoscopes storyteller group clients from the group storyteller client one 2077 mb scorpio you did it again you uh the hitter at the end sorry not sorry oh. <laughs> too long didn't read Carriage? 
You can get that kitty kitty as a pet. Gotta find cat food. This is that Victor that's putting those guys in email. Vicky, surprise every old ripper. It's good to see you. Good to see you too, V. It's been a while. So what do I owe the pleasure today? Last gig. Had to jack into a client's neuro socket. I think I might have gotten spiked. Experiencing migraines, nausea, hypersensitivity to bright lights. Old kit and caboodle. All right, kit. We'll sort you out in a flash. Besides that, how are things? Need some new kit, but tools, not toys, Vic. Time I bumped up my sights and got a grip. <laughs> really? Now? Finally? Vic, shit's getting real. Got a job from Dex to Sean, hitting the major leagues. Need tech that can perform. The Dexter Deshaun? <laughs> well, that is something. But let me guess. Hasn't paid you yet. Quit crying, Vic. I'll bring you the Eddies later, with interest. You know I will. Hmm. Last time, you hear? You get to watch my Chair, please. eyeball removed. Sit down and relax. Karoshi Optics. Best I've got, and should be about right under the circumstances. Now, Jack. The eyeball in. is going to be put inside of me. So. One boy has to fucking Gross. get his eyeball removed. Whoa, Vic, nothing tops that on the market. Hmm, sounds like it could come in handy then. I gave you my word I'd pay you back, but this might be too rich for my blood. We'll work something out. Right now, I'm just out to make sure you get back in one piece. Eddie's in hand. <laughs> you peruse and choose while I scan. Let's see what's going on inside. One, like I said, decent enough scanner. Displays data on your cornea. Cherry on the top's a built-in external lens disruptor. In layman's terms, any surveillance cam will capture your face as a blur. And just remember, your body will still show up as crystal clear. Hmm. This should do the trick. Have you seen Talks uh, to Kuroshi Tech before? too. It's not pleasant. I'm ready. Carve away. Excellent. Let's do this. Lay that major league arm of yours right here. So, what's new in the life of Victor Vector? <sighs> yeah, if I'm being honest, not much. And that's fine with me. I used to live in a world where all that mattered was who's who, what's what, and how's why. And what happened? One day, I just dropped it and never looked back. I'll never be a legend in this town. I've been sleeping nights ever since. Just like that. Thanks. Now, a bit of anesthetic and I can start cutting. Feel anything? Same as always. I don't feel a thing. You ask me that every time, you know? Not as if things are gonna be any different today. Sure thing, kid. I mean, not like there's any risk of a stroke or paralysis, but <laughs> what do I know? I'm just a doctor. That's what I thought. Lights out for a minute, all right? Okay, let's test this. See the magic in action. Linking you in. You might feel a little discomfort at first. Blurred vision, low contrast, glitches. It's 
It is. Well, how's it look? Feel all right to you? Oh, this is fantastic, Vic. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Time for the scanner. It might take you a few seconds to adjust, but first time's really the charm, <laughs> with anything, really. Scanner should eventually sync with your thought processes and read your intentions. I'd also inject an NCPD file search. Run into any ne'er-do-wells? <laughs> you know exactly what they ne'er did well. <laughs> it ought to work like a charm. Now draw your weapon. You should see your ammo count in a brand new sight. How about the neurovirus from the last job? Can you check it? Done and gone while we were putting in your implant. And a full sweep on your soft and circuits. Zap the critter. You're certified bug free. Shit, Victor, not bad. I don't know what to say. Say you'll take this and remember the dosage. Two whiffs now, and another two in an hour. What am I looking at? A mild stim. Should boost neurotransmission in the short term and muffle some of the side effects while the implant takes. Thanks again, Vic. You're the best. I owe you. Go on, kid. Show them what you're made of. And once you hit the big leagues, don't forget where you came from. Yeah, I really enjoy this game now that it's all fixed. I enjoyed it when it first came out, but my Xbox couldn't run it. My PC ran it fine. I didn't have any of the glitches everybody else was. Um, everyone else was fixing about. Mm, your heart chakra looks a little out of whack, babe. I can release it for you, but you'd have to watch out for negative energy fields and avoid mean reds. V, yo, listen up. I talked to Dex while you were in with the doc. He's waiting in his ride for you. Ain't but a hop to where he's parked next to Gramsci Burgers. Okay, do my best to talk us up. What are you? V, listen, out? I've got this delicate now, matter. That's why I called you. The number of cyber psycho attacks in the city is on the rise. Now that's probably not news to you, but this issue matters to me for a few reasons. There are people who say cyber psychosis can be treated. Right. And I know exactly how that sounds, but I believe even an unproven therapy is still better than a proven brain. If I get a tip about a possible attack, I'll give you a call. Maybe you can investigate before Max Tack hits the scene. But remember, you're not there to execute anybody. Try to incapacitate the attacker, and I'll send someone to pick him up. I hope that's all clear. Hmm. You think President Myers is one of them? Why so many shootings? Why do countless die on the streets as the police do nothing? What Alpha human Centauri. would condemn his brethren to such suffering? And why? And where did this filth slither out from, you ask? Antarctica, you said that already. Today they hide amidst the snow and ice of the South Pole. Step by step, usurping our crown as creation's chosen. Millions of years ago, they evolved from dinosaurs to become the world's first advanced, intelligent race. And who is their progenitor? Their masters? The scientists of Alpha, Alpha Centauri. Centauri! I am just about to... I recognize you. You come here often. Yeah, your me. eyes tell me that your mind has opened to the truth. Will you provide a humble donation so that I may continue my mission? Yeah. I'll feed into your crazy. Do good work. Use this to wake Night City up. Thank you for your devotion. I saw a disciple of truth in you from the very beginning. 
He actually end it, end, does Radio end up getting kidnapped the end in the game. The end of his quest line, I should say. By government What's officials. Yo, Mr. V, a pleasure. Dexter Deshawn in the flesh. Ample indeed. <laughs> Let's roll. Mind if I ask you something right off the bangle? Would you rather live in pieces, Mr. Nobody, die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory, smelling near like posies, without seeing your 30th? It's first place or no place, Dex. Cost isn't a factor. <laughs> Classic. I'd expect nothing less from eager, supple youth. <sighs> Respect. I, I don't like how you called me supple. All right, listen close. Scanning a serious job now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scav home. Hang on. I got a question of my own now. Why all this, Dex? Why me? Could have had Jackie or T-Buck sitting here. Could have just done this on comms. Call me old-fashioned, but I like to look anyone I do biz with in the eye. Damn right. Had the pleasure of meeting the Jackster in the past. And sweet T-Bug helped this brother out two years ago. So here we are. Besides all that, got a special little pre-mission just for you. But we'll get to that. Let me hear it. What's the job? There's this prototype tech. A biochip, to be precise. The job's to grab it. Simple. Yeah. <laughs> Guessing it belongs to a corp. Mm-hmm. Arasaka. Surely that's no problem. <laughs> Corps don't deserve special treatment. Shit. <laughs> you ain't playing around. Got a feeling this could be a start of a beautiful friendship built on heaps of eddies. You work this out? Got a plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs active resolving that. Second, to rendezvous. Simple. Client who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. Client. What's her thing? Why she need to meet? Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. Betting her wasn't easy. Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and? Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. Told me to stop looking. And the convo. <laughs> anyway, our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, who'll be there for it all. Yours truly will be remote. T-Bug ain't no people person, and Jaggy's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much leaves you. What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slotting the shard. Got a classic tale for you. Psycho gang doing his thing Maelstrom. two weeks back. Jumped a Militech convoy. Got away with the gear. 
Corp don't even know Maelstrom's involved. Now see, Convoy was carrying the Flathead, a little combat bot, a prototype. And I need me that bit of high-grade military tech. Because if we don't get that bot, we don't get no soccer chip. And we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. It's a single-use toy. Now, I flat out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. Problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say when, because Brick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gangmate, one Simon Randall, AKA Royce, plain dropped his ass. Royce is in charge now, and I got no way of knowing if he aims to honor his predecessor's word. To add to this shitstrom, one Meredith Stout of Militech has developed an interest in said convoy. Royce guy, what's he like? A straight psychopath, chrome-loving kind. Big club in this town. I'll give you that, except few of its other members. No matter the stakes, would put a friend and associate through an industrial microwave dryer. Apparently, first thing to burst are the eyeballs. Get a nice clear pop, then the rest goes goulash. Who's the prima donna? Corpo agent, internal affairs. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. The one lead she's got zip tied in her trunk. Stick up her ass ain't growing any shorter, so she must be getting desperate. Be wise to think how you could use that. Of course, to do so, you'll need that frazzled cat's info. Sending it now. I think I got everything. Time I got to work. Keep saying what? Well, that's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is gonna be all you. One more thing, Mr. V. Quiet life or blaze of glory? Hmm? Later now. Talk to Dex. <laughs> yeah, Gordito's a big deal. Literally a nod, yeah. Guy certainly knows how to protect his biz. Wants to put us on a few small kinks. Prep work, I guess. Before lining us up a big job. There's this combat bot, military prototype. Maelstrom clepped it. Then Dex paid to take it off their hands just before the gang goons had a switch up in management. That sums it up. Dex wants us talking to Royce. Gave the deets of some Militech agent too, but... I don't know how much help she stands to be. Yeah, you're alone to hate Dex. <laughs> Nick, you don't sound thrilled. Royce, what do you know about him? He's fucking whack something special. Junkie snort junk. Royce. Snorts Chrome. Then there's the other thing. Gotta meet the client who put the job on the table. Evelyn Parker. You? Well, what's Dex gonna do? Ride around in his limo, chat chicks up on the hollow? Parker wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the nod. He must know what he's doing. So, how you wanna play this? Maelstrom or Parker? What's first? Parker. I think I ought to see her first. See what she's like, what she's after. What I lay. In that case, I'll hit the all foods, put my nose to the ground, sniff around. Hasta luego. Uh, now I want to get that little. Blah, blah, blah. They talk about so much, that was fun. Yeah, the weapon of story, kid. Now the. Although the world was open before, now... Before I really start doing missions... 
I'm gonna clear off. T-Bug sent me. Said you'd have something for me. You're V, right? She had me hold the demon for you. It should work on any third gen deck. Got a Militech power line. Think it'll do. Mm. Solid gear. For a beginner. Okay. Glad to grab a demon always. You could test it now. I have an access point. If you'd like, that is. You might extract some shim soft or subroutines. Seems worth a try, either way. I don't have the money to get any of this. Oh, oh. Yeah, use that. That's the one I want. Sign out, phone out. Those are fun. It's going to take me a while before I can actually. Uh, Jack in. All right. Come on, let's go do some jobs, shall we? tuning out.
All kind of conversation. Keiko. Keiko and Jake. Echo, okay, that's why I'm ready to leave. Jake, really mean it? Keiko, I have nothing to lose. Jake, yeah, you can't live like that way anymore. Keiko, when? Jake, today. You get out today. No sense hesitating. Every day we wait is another we risk getting found out. Keiko, okay. How could it be Keiko? I think it's Keiko. Okay, Jake, we'll go out. We'll go to my ripple, tomb of mine. Rip out the, the lo that locator in you, but, what it, but whatever you do, don't mention Jotaro, or he won't help. I'll say you're my sis. Kieko. Okay, then what? Jake, we stay at my place for the night, then I hope we'll get you out of the city. Kieko. I'm scared, Jake. Jake, this is no place for you. Don't be afraid. This is the right thing to do. Tall, yeah. What do you think the fucking JoJo weapon for you? Cyber, well, my cyber deck now fucking set.
Yeah, I think I am about to end the stream here. Might do this one. Okay. Spicy deck. Oh. Satisfaction guaranteed, I said. I'm telling you, man. Don't Mr. Stud is ever get a Mr. Stud. Remember the plan, but thanks, noted. Hey, listen. Thanks for not laughing at me. Appreciate it. It ain't easy, I'll tell you that. <sighs> just our luck. Ah, go, just go, mow him down! Chill, June. I'm gone in a sec. Chill! You tell me to chill! It burns! Fuck, it burns! Chill. Doing what I can. What I said to my output. Output is like that too You really gotta keep yelling like that. You don't even know how much it hurts? Like I'm screwing a goddamn pencil sharpener! Well, suffer in silence, Chum. Heard what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. He had a small penis and got a new Real one. fucking funny!
flaming crotch man is just uh, a thing in my phone. <laughs> The warrants dropped. I'm gonna save it and get off. I probably just want to play. Yep. <laughs> Alright. That will do it for the day stream. I won't be getting on another stream. I'm going to bed, probably. Check out the Discord. I'll see you all next time.